rumors spread around in that Texas town. Back on a new breed of golf, Michael Breen, Greg Deschamps, 866 469 0026 is the telephone number. High above the convention center in Orlando, Florida, in the Titleist booth, I'm looking down at what is about to become mayhem. And I can't wait for it. So I want to introduce you now to the CEO of B1 Sports, Alex Prasad. Alex, um, I appreciate you getting up early. I know you had some, some interesting travel yesterday getting in, didn't you? That's, uh, that's what you get for living in the North Pole, Michael. <laughs> There's positives and negatives. The polar bears are a positive, and the negatives is, you know, the, the flights don't always go when they're supposed to go. So glad yeah. to be here. It all worked out. So let's just talk a little bit about um, your goals and expectations. First of all, uh, before I even get to that, what, for those people that don't know, what is V1? Yeah, great question. Um, so I think we keep finding new years that we were founded in. <laughs> it goes way back, but 1995, I believe, is the actual start date. Yeah. Um, and the company historically found a way to send video over the Internet and to facilitate you know, online golf lessons. That was the innovative technology. Yep. You know, that's not innovative today, but it was 30 years ago or whatever when it first started. I remember when it first came started. out. Yeah, I mean, first literal VCRs, right, on a driving range, yep. and it evolved from there. And so now, um, yeah, I'm excited for the future because um, we're going to be a kind of a real platform for both instructors and students going forward, which I think is a leading edge thing, not a trailing edge thing, right, which yep. would be video over the Internet. Um, so, yeah, roughly 30% of pr uh, pros that teach in North America are using one of our products today. Um, so there's been some real lasting, you know, power to that innovation, which is great, but we're trying to push forward too. So when, when you come down here to Orlando and you, you have a, a company that is the, the leader in this particular space, V1 Sports, what are you hoping to get out of these three days? Learning and listening, Michael. That's the number one thing. I think so. I've been in this seat for about a year. Yep. Um, and, uh, as many know, I'm not, um, I'm not of the golf industry. That's not my background. Um, I started in broadcasting, actually, uh, and then uh, I can tell that, then. <laughs> by the way, how smooth you are with the delivery, everything. I, okay, I can, all right, there you go. That. All right, stroking my ego it. here. Yep. Um, but no, just li li listening, um, li listening and learning, Michael, because you know we believe and we're trying to um, be a solution for instructors and for those who use our platform. We're not trying to point at the shelf, saying, "Here's my thing, buy it." We're trying to un get this kind of feedback loop. Again, we're lucky to have such a, both in mass and quality, yep, right? Yep. Uh, volume and quality, whatever the right words are, right? Um, really good instructors, such as yourself, that are in our tent, but then also a lot of them. Yep. And so what works for you, Michael, might not work for the guy up near me in Traverse City and might not work for another context in another context. But we really try to become a learning organization. It's actually a phrase one of my board members used with me. He said, I think you're tr saying that you want to be a learning organization. That's what we're trying to be because that manifests itself in features, et cetera, fast. So then, you know, meeting a guy like Ted Kegel or other elite coaches is, a, is, is one of the goals that you're going to have. You, you obviously have a, a ton of very, very talented coaches, but at the same time, being aware of the up-and-coming coaches, that's going to be an important thing for you. And then meeting those, those individuals at a place like this, correct? Yeah, correct. And the needs and desires of these different, call it cohorts or segments, right, by age, by, again, where they teach, how they teach, et cetera, is important. Yeah. Um, and we're not necessarily trying to hit right in the middle of the middle of the bell curve, if you will, in terms of, you know, least common denominator. If you try to make everyone happy, you'll make no one happy. Yeah, but we exactly have to understand right. and I mean, be really diligent about understanding each of these, you know, you know, archetypes, if you will, right, or types of instructors and what their context is. So I, I'm trying to listen and learn, right, and live in the issues because that turns into we filter through what we're capable of, where we are today, because we believe that if we're providing a real solution and addressing pain points for an instructor, you know, that's going to manifest itself in, you know, revenue and so on and so forth, right? Moving more product, gaining more market share. We're talking with Alex Prasad, who's the CEO of V1 Sports. Alex, I assume this is your, your very first PGA show. No, I, I had the pleasure. Uh, I, I came in 2020, and I most definitely contracted COVID, uh, <laughs> you know, like a month or two early. So I've, I've had one experience. I'm hoping to not slowly be dying on the plane on the way home, <laughs> uh, which was what was happening uh, the first time. I think this one will go a little bit better. Um, so, yes, I have been once before. And yeah. so <laughs> I, know, I know you've got a, um, a meeting this week with Foresight Sports, um, and I'm sure that there yep. are um, other meetings that you've got with other companies that are in the launch monitor and simulator space. 
that connection with other brands that are here is an important one for you. So it's not just the reach necessarily to the golf pro, but there's other reaches that you're making as well. Yeah, right. So we have a real platform that we're building, Michael, right? And there's two sides of that fence. There's the students, the golfers, and the instructors, right? So understanding on both sides. You have to take a different approach for the consumer, for yep. the individuals, right? There's too many of them. We can't just have an hour-long conversation with the 100,000 monthly active users we have and the 30,000 paid subscribers, right? So there's different ways of collecting that same information and trying to understand. Um, and luckily, we've done a really good job of like laying that groundwork from a data perspective to understand. Um, but yeah, I mean, the way we view our products, Michael's on the consumer side. You know, we have this uh, moniker, phrase, whatever you want to call it. You know, improvement starts here, and we really believe that the V1 Golf app, which is the consumer app, is a starting point for instructors. And so once you layer in ground pressure, right. launch data, et cetera, we really want to be the first step on the consumer side, this journey of improvement, which and we're going to collaborate on you know, in 2024 very here. Very excited Some for that. Very too. basic, simple yep. things, because we know, you, I just heard you know, in your last segment um, talking about called the more recreational golfer, right, or the more enter entertainment golfer. We need a welcome mat for those who picked up a club for the first time in a top golf and yeah. want to learn more. Yeah. But that being said, there's a kind of roadmap here, a journey, right? As they become more and more ingrained or become a golfer, if they weren't before, whatever you want to characterize these different like types of golfers, that data, foresight, ground er, launch monitor data, ground pressure, et cetera, et cetera. It's a smaller segment of the market that's interested in those things, but more valuable. And that's when like, they've really taken off, right? And they're an avid golfer now. I think NGF would call them avid. It's a, it's a fascinating thing. We're talking with Alex Prasad, who's the CEO of V1 Sports. It's a fascinating thing because what you're trying to do is you're trying to help all skill levels. And that includes the individual that's just entering the game of golf. Correct. And there have been a lot of, of newbies over the last, since COVID, over the last three yeah, or four yeah. years, who are curious, who are, they do want to explore how they can get better. And the, the V1 uh, consumer app that you have that allows people to kind of look at their swing and analyze it and, and maybe even reach to a coach, this is a great avenue for them to explore how they can get better and find somebody that may not even be in Traverse City or sure. in Connecticut where I am yep. uh, or in Orlando, Florida. But they can get better over the, over the use of, of the V1 product. Yeah, I, I think there's a large, and, uh, and not my idea, uh, uh, others echo it, right? But uh, intimidation factor. It's a totally. golf is a, I, I hear golf is hard, you know. <laughs> it, it's a diff, right, rumor. There's a rumor. It's, it's a difficult skill to master. And I can tell you a large chunk, not all, because roughly 20% of those people in that consumer app are there because of a relationship with a pro. Yeah. Um, but many of them don't know where to begin. So just A, the idea that, looking at what you're doing when you're trying to accomplish an athletic feat <laughs> is a start. Right. At least be able to visualize, or you can feel it, but you can't see it. So you need to see it as a starting point. That's a really fundamental baseline. That's, again, what V1 historically has done so well, and we're trying to push forward into the future with all these other you know, ideas. So let's talk about the push forward to the future, because yeah. I always love looking behind the screen as you and Chip and the, and the team are now kind of to, or trying to look at what the future is going to be like and the consumer. Yeah. What kinds of things are, are you, um, is there a certain path that you're going down? Is there a certain mindset that you've got at this point? Yeah, well, again, we kind of live in both sides, right? We're trying to look at things from a golfer perspective, but also from an instructor perspective. And from instructors, I think the number one thing that we've heard, which doesn't surprise us as a subscription company, yeah. is I get a large chunk of people that come. They see me once. I don't know if I smell. I don't know what the issue is, <laughs> but they leave. They don't come back, yeah. right? And I've spent a lot of activation energy trying to get this person in, marketing, et cetera, and I can't – I haven't really captured them, right? Yeah. And so if you want to take a really clinical view, that lesson wasn't worth it, right? I want to form an enduring yep. relationship longer term. Um, and so that's – we're launching a product slowly, deliberately right now called V1 Coach, and that it completes our platform from a mobile perspective that's meant for coaches, for instructors. Yep. Um, it's a replacement for a pro mobile, which is what exists today, though that phase out will take a long time. What Craig, who's looking over here, Chief Product Officer, everybody like, calm down, right? It's not happening immediately. We're trying to be deliberate. Um, but that's really, we're trying to drive better retention uh, between an instructor and a student. So in our early experimentation, we found that if people are conversing, transacting, if you will, on this platform, 
Um, a student is twice as likely to come back to that instructor for a subsequent lesson. Um, we're finding 20% better engagement in the first week when an instructor and a student are connected and meet for the first time. Yep. And we believe that when you're, uh, you get notifications you know, within this platform, people are 20, uh, 10 times more likely, 20% open rates on these communications versus like 2% on email. Wow. So those are all kind of you know, KPIs, you know, key performance indicators, indications that we're on the right track. So really trying to be, again, a solution and a tool for a pro. So it's very simply, Michael, I'm taking, I'm taking all the oxygen out of the room. We have a, we had a bet. There's side a side bet. Of, uh, a we can talk oxygen. more. There's a lot of oxygen today. Um, you invite me to that, Michael. You're, I come to you for, yep. um, for a lesson. You invite me. I get in. We're now connected. I can chat with you. I can send you video. You can send me video, your voiceover lessons, et cetera. Yep. And also, as a golfer, my experience now in the consumer app is customized, white labeled, you might call it, to the Michael Breed yep. brand. Brilliant. Right? So now I feel like I'm living in. You know, your universe, if you will, yep. Michael. Um, so we think that's a, a unique, it's something that's different. And again, that's based on feedback from our customers. From all of us. Say, right. Saying, yeah. again, I had this guy, I thought he was great. I spent all this energy, you know, buttering up, getting him here once. Yeah. And, and he then, went on me. right, he ghosted me. Right, exactly. So we're trying to solve that, you know, call it ghosting problem. If your words people, not mine. If people are interested in getting information about V1, V1 Sports, what do they do? You can just contact me, easy, alex at v1sports.com. <laughs> we'll see how many emails. It's kind of a competition. Uh, someone else might reply, but yeah. it will go to my inbox, and I'll Let's get it to the right person. Let's hammer that inbox, um, alex yeah. at v1sports.com. Yeah. Um, yeah, and we're looking for you know, early adopters, if you will, today who want to yep. come in and learn and give us input so we can very quickly turn that into a you know, real product. Well, listen, I know, I know the, the travel was uh, challenging, but I know it's going to be well worth it. Worth it to see you, Michael. I worth appreciate it to see you coming over uh, this morning. Thanks so much for everything. And Thanks, Michael. Uh, congratulations. Thanks. It's great. 866-469-0026 is the number. When we come back, we're going to talk with Brooke McKenzie, the president of Shoes. What is it? We'll let you know. We'll be back.